talk a little bit about um, Alta and the role that Alta has played, you know, on this journey for for all of us. Um, I don't know, Mehmood and um, Nadia, if you could say a few words about that. And then I know that um, Daisy can talk about how I dragged her to her first Alta um, as well. And um, I have a few few stories as well, but uh, maybe starting with the two, two of you. Um, and I'm only saying the two of you because you're on the same screen. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I met you and Daisy. I already knew Arunava. And of course, I knew Nadia also. But um, when I was doing those blog posts for Asento, that's when I reached out to a whole number of translators and people connected me to others. And um, and then it was out of that that I think, Jason, you proposed the panel at Alta in Tucson that brought us all together. Um, and that was the first time we met. And then we were able to successfully do it again the following year at the Oakland conference where we had a reading offsite, a couple of readings offsite. Um, and Arunava was able to come to the US on both of those occasions. So I think you played a major role in both of those events. But I also feel like um, there's just something as well um, about the energy of an Alta conference that um, you know, yes. sort of, you know, uh, al allows us to, I don't know, think big um, and and plan big projects. Um, but I'm I'm sorry, I um, I, I think Nadia was gonna uh, say something there. I sort of jumped in. No, that's I think like we can all jump in whenever. Um, Alta was um, foundational for me as well as I've already mentioned. Um, in addition to like coming together with all of you in person and not just virtually, um, it gave me a sense of community in a way. Um, I made other connections other than the two altars that Mahmoud mentioned. I went to one more, I think, or? I think you went to I one went in Minneapolis. Minnesota. So you were, I think in Minnesota, no? Yes. Yes, I went to that one. Um, I made connections, um, which I've kept up. Um, I actually now serve on as a volunteer on the Alta's Development Committee, which is a really fun thing to do, to be able to give back in that way. Um, and Alta was also where Daisy and I had dinner with Natasha, who's the editor of um, 91st Meridian. And from that conversation, um, we co-guest edited a South Asian literature and translation issue, um, which was a very exciting project for me. Um, again, it like apart from the fact that we were able to put together pull together like all these different languages and pull together all these different um, translators, um, it again like broadened my community, broadened my scope and horizon in, in terms of like what we can do and and who we know and how we interact with each other. And I think I think um, that was a point where, in addition to being a Bengali Bangladeshi translator, I became a South Asian translator as well. Yeah, and Altas was also useful to, I mean, I, you know, since we went to the conference, we attended other discussions and panel discussions. And I'm, you know, this year, I'm reading a lot of Czech literature and translation, some of which has been translated by Alex Zucker, who I, we met at Tucson and I think who came to our panel. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, it's just kind of a spinoff of other languages and, and, and books that you get interested in. And, and, and Daisy, um, you, I know uh, one of the ways uh, you describe yourself, I think, on your Twitter bio is as an escaped academic, um, and, 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 and therefore, as part of uh, that escape that you made, um, perhaps you had a, a bit of an allergy to uh, anything that started with the word con and ended with the uh, syllable friends. Uh, so it was, it was a little bit of a hard sell, I think, to get you to, to Alta uh, the first time. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe you could talk a little bit about your experience um, there. Yeah, I think, I guess my first one was also Tucson. Is that right, Jason? We didn't go to some, yeah. So, um, yes, I, Jason kept urging me to come to Alta conferences, and I said, well, I don't know why I would do that, uh, because I was very much in the early stages of my academia recovery at that time, and so I didn't want to have anything to do with conferences ever again and he so he kept trying to convince me and he said well you know translators are just like writers only they're really nice 
<laughs> and I thought, what does he even mean exactly? But <laughs> but he finally talked me into it. And um, and I don't think Jason and I had actually ever physically met until then, right? On the plane. Um, right. Well, wait, was that before you came to Chicago on the um taste book tour? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I think so. I don't know, but Either way, we didn't know each other that well. I mean, we'd know each other virtually, but not, we'd never met in person. And um, so maybe we'd met one time before, but maybe we hadn't. Anyway, we actually ran into each other in Midway Airport and got on a Southwest plane together for Tucson. And um, since it's Southwest, you can sit together, right? So we sat together and, you know, it was a kind of a, a red eye-ish, flight and everybody was going to sleep and we kept ordering drinks and like hooting with laughter while we gossiped about different translation you know gossip and, and fiascos and things like that that we had been part of and um you know I had never had a translator bonding experience before and then of course I got there and these other people were there and uh, um it was just more of that fun and we had such an amazing time and but one thing that really stood out for me was that a bunch of us I don't remember which of us but a bunch of us wandered into the Korean panel and we were like just totally shocked into silence to find out all the funding these people had <laughs> like we just we had no idea that such a world existed and we we're just all of our jaws were on the ground and we I know that some of you weren't there and some of you were, but we like we then we had to we reconvened and we all shared these crazy stories. Now there's like an institute and people have jobs teaching translation and there are, you know, grants to like help fund the publications and the, the Korean government sends money, you know, like is makes money available to Western publishers and we thought, well, no wonder we're having trouble, you know, if this is what other people have going for them. And I think that really planted a seed for all of us, because it's like a think big scenario, like this is what we actually need. We'll never have it, but maybe we'll have something, maybe we can push ourselves closer to that point that I think that really galvanized us a lot. So yay, Alta. <laughs> <laughs>